Welcome, my little Leos. This is seven cups of spiritual tea. This will be your May 2019 general love reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember if this will not resonate with everyone. There are wonderful tarot readers out there that you can try. There's plenty more and you will find one that resonates with you. So if it doesn't resonate, just let it be. Also, please keep in mind that the energies are interchangeable. So it could be vice versa or I could be seeing your energy, but it's theirs. So it's fluid. All right, I am seeing two more shuffles. Hang in there with me as we get to your love reading here. All right. I already premeditated and shuffled your cards prior, so we're good. Overall energy is the Page of Pentacles. And as that happens, that is spirits. So now we have the two of swords. Okay. So somebody, overall energy is clearly what they want you to see here. Is there is an offer, somebody wanting an apology, possibly missing someone. And they're feeling feeling kind of lost like they cannot move or make a decision they know a decision needs to be made but they're not wanting to take the step forward so let's get into it that was interesting all right okay let's see what your person is doing Person in Leo's love life. Just doing right now regards to them. Okay. So you got the Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Four of Swords. All right. So what I'm feeling here is someone being very isolated to themselves. This is what they're doing in regards to you at the moment. So they're trying to express some self-love, take care of themselves. They're kind of going within and dealing with, you know, their own emotions is what I'm hearing. Um, also getting some rest. But they're definitely by themselves. So I'm at the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see here. Yeah, they've kind of hung themselves up. In regards to the situation. Trying to stay in control. And trying to... You know, I keep hearing self-love. So this person... What I'm feeling is they're really trying to make themselves a better person for you. Let me see. Yeah, they got the Ten of Cups with the Four of Swords. So they really are wanting that, you know, they see you as their Ten of Cups. But they're resting right now, and there was an issue. Something happened in the past. So let's see <clears throat> what's making them so isolated. What is making Leo's love so isolated? All right. So you got Ace of Cups, Three of Swords in Reverse, and Eight of Pentacles. 
this is what's making them go within and feel, you know, work on themselves. See, they're, they're definitely working on it, but they're working on releasing the pain or hurt that they may have caused. Because all I'm hearing is, you know, they feel guilty. They've caused pain and they know it. And, you know, they're wanting a new start, you know, a new start in love, a new burst, you know, I'm hearing burst, but it's like a burst of energy that they want to start, you know, this, they kind of want to end the cycle of the old and start brand new, just fresh, releasing, you know, old energy of what this relationship was, but they realize that they have caused this. That's, that's the key here. They know they've caused you pain and they're working really hard on the details of themselves and I'm hearing the details of their soul. So let's see how they feel about you. Let's see how they feel. Okay, so they feel like they you are their soulmate. You got six of cups, knight of wands, and the death card. So they know, again, they know they have to transform this, that this can no longer, this cycle can no longer go on as it was. They know now completely they have to change this whole thing around. It has to start fresh, start new, but, you know, they're looking on the past and they have such good memories and, you know, they're almost feeling sad about it because they're kind of in between and this is what I'm feeling is they have to be by themselves although it's painful for them because they feel like they don't want to be but they know that they have to put that invisible block there because the only way you know they miss you but the only way to proceed is to completely change this whole thing around and to change it around, they have to change themselves. Six of Cups. This person has a lot of passion for you, wants to move forward. They clearly make you happy. This is soulmate, but this is like the light. <laughs> it's funny. What I'm hearing is, you know, you light up their life. You know, this person, I am hearing too. You might have known this person from childhood. It might be a schoolmate or someone that is familiar to you, like family. Um, but it's almost a feeling of this person is irreplaceable. You know, like they feel like you are irreplaceable. Like, no matter how hard they've tried in the past to go on, they've tried new people and new directions, but nothing compares to that because they've had that bond with you. Or it can also be that, because I'm also hearing, you know, you guys are, they bring out the childlike both of you are very childlike with each other and you bring out the child in them. Okay, let's see what's going to happen in the relationship. Okay. So Leos, you might be dealing with an Aquarius here. That is one of the main en energies here. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, and Aries. Pretty heavy. But the Aquarius is a very strong energy here with the Queen of Swords. So, the Queen of Swords. so they're, they're going to work on themselves, but they're going to come towards you. And here's the thing. They're afraid that you're going to take the position of 
you know, maybe not even giving them a second chance. They want a second chance with you, but they almost feel like, you know, it's a 50-50. Like they're not sure and they're working on how to come towards you because they realize that they've caused a lot of pain and now they're going to have to figure out how they they know you but they're figuring out you and how you react to things from the past so they're going to try to decipher what's the best route that I could go and I'm hearing opposite so they're going to want to go a different way which may surprise you because I'm hearing surprise but what's going to happen is you know they want something very grounded they they want to be your wife or husband. You know, they know that this can be taken further if the the mind games stop. See, this person with the five of swords, they've really, in the past, kind of played with your mind. Um, almost to the point leaving you feeling so confused that it was hurtful. And you couldn't understand because you knew... And I'm feeling here, you knew that they loved you. You knew that they felt this way. So you couldn't figure out why they were playing mind games with you. It was so confusing. And why they were hiding. So with the five of swords. Ah. Sorry about that. Sometimes they fly out and fall. Okay, so clarifying that, you get the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, this person had offered you before, you know, this person had offered you this. But what they were, they offered you this. And it made you feel happy, content, made you feel like, you know, okay, we're soulmates. We're, this is meant to be. But what they were really offering you was this, the Five of Swords, playing mind games with you. Because what I'm feeling right now is, you know, this road here, I just keep getting drawn to this road. This road is the road that they, this is what they showed you. And you saw this and you started to walk down it. And as soon as you hit the hit the the ace of pentacles which i'm seeing here i almost see like a fallback because once you accepted and once you got close they drew back and they they left is what i'm feeling here and it was almost like whoa what happened why i don't understand you know i'm i'm getting the cold I'm feeling the cold sense of ghosting here. And, you know, somebody, I just heard somebody tried to text, you know, many times over a course of seven days and no reply. And still no reply, but somebody stopped texting. Hmm. So let's see the challenge now. What is the challenge? Yeah. It's just no speaking. Nobody's talking. You know, and the challenge also is, is somebody's not using their intuition. And it's probably why this person as well is working so hard to get back and trying to figure out, you know, the challenges, you know, they need to listen to their intuition to figure out how you feel, how, because energy, they can feel it if they just pay attention. But they're not paying attention to it. Let's clarify the High Priestess. Yeah. You know, they're the with the world. I mean, this is a cycle. And I'm not sure if this person has done this with you in the past. It almost feels like this has been a reoccurring thing. And now you're to the point where... You know, I'm done with it. Like, I just can't do it anymore. Because this person gives and then they take away. They give and take away. That's what I keep hearing. It's like, 
it's such unrequited love there's been no reciprocity and you're just like this person means the world to you and I'm just hearing and feeling that this person it's a bond that you cannot break it's a bond that you have had and that's why I'm this one's so strong with me I'm just feeling the past I feel strongly that you have known this person before but not just known them been in a maybe together at school or childhood love you know that never you know they just I just heard that never came about a cycle that never came around never but you both felt mutual feelings for each other at the time even so now you're just confused like well you know what what's ha I don't get it why does this never come about why does this never work out so let's see the outcome what is the outcome of this okay yeah so this is good okay so I you know like I said this person is going to come towards towards you okay with a message a new beginning something new something fresh something creative obviously they've been working you know working on it you know but <clears throat> the thing is they're going to be able to drop these burdens see it's almost like as i feel like the weight of the world has been on their shoulders like this is such an intense feeling it look it's all fiery it's all passion and you know what drives us more than passion and love like you know it's just that feeling of look he's looking up look how he's looking up at the page and he's like I know I know I have to do this I know I have to do this for myself I have to drop these and he's gonna ru run here send the message you know of a passionate new beginning here you know he's like I know what I have to do I know so that's good so let's get some romance angel cards for you. Let's see what they have to say. All right. You know, it's hard when you have different, different styles of love and love languages. And, you know, I'm feeling like almost that love is so intense when you have a love like that it's extremely intense and some people depending on who they are their personalities some people can't handle that and they get scared and run away and I'm definitely feeling you know with that reading that the reason that that cycle has probably reoccurred it so many times and it doesn't stop is you know, not only are, are you soulmates or you're connected like that, you have a strong bond. But I'm feeling like, you know, they just couldn't handle it. They were scared, you know. They pro probably never felt like that about anyone in their life. And they can't explain it. And that's what I think with the confusion as well, is they just can't explain it can't explain the feeling why do they feel that way and they don't understand let's see here all right romance angels what do you got for us what messages do you have for the sign of leo the moon rising messages of love Okay, so you got give your relationship a chance, romantic feelings, and love yourself first. See, that's what I'm talking about is this, this person, they need to, they need to um, exercise self-love. And they know that though. They know that they have 
romantic feelings and they want to give this relationship a chance. But they have to practice self-love first. Because the only way to love you is by loving themselves first. They can't give you what you want until they're able to give it to themselves and love themselves fully. And become the person that they want for you. Is what I'm hearing. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, here we go. I felt it. I heard it. I knew it. You got the children card. But I want to see here. Okay, can you clarify the children card? I knew it. I knew it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I, as soon as I got the children card, I was thinking, and not thinking, I was feeling, um, you know, the children. When I saw the Six of Cups, I didn't feel the normal Six of Cups. I felt that the you had known them as a child. Like there is some kind of, you know, relationship or, um, you know, attraction as a child, a bond that you had, or even a friendship, but you knew them. But it's funny because it's clarified with codependency and soulmates, which, um, you know, I saw in my, my mind's eye, I saw this card and it just popped out and it was funny, but it with codependency is they know, see they're, they're stuck on you. Like they cannot break this bond. They have tried. It is like a bond that cannot be broken. They almost feel addicted to you. And, you know, this is why it's just, you know, it's a soulmate. You guys, this is wonderful. Let's get some advice. Let me see. What advice can you give our Leos? Let's leave them with some advice for you. Whew. Okay, so there's a warning here. Wait, let me clarify the very soon card. Because I know this all too well. I know this card. Yeah. See, okay, so this is your advice. So very soon calling in, call, you're calling in your soulmate, okay? Very soon this person was going to come in again, okay? But, you know, do your IMs, do your affirmations, you know, this is the laws of attraction, but set your intention out into the universe of what completes you. What, what would fulfill you emotionally? You know, make sure that you set these intentions so that what you will receive when this person comes back, if it does not match what your intentions are, then it's easier for you to release and let it go. Okay, but you're all by doing the, that you will draw in the the person that is meant for you. Okay, that's your warning. Now you have make the effort. Okay, so when this person comes in, you got to make the effort attraction and stay optimistic. Okay, so do make the effort and what I'm getting here, what I'm feeling is make the effort with this person, give it a shot. But when they do come in. You know, don't be negative. Stay positive. You know, don't come at them and just be like, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? You know, give them, give them a chance and understand that we're all different. And this person has a lot of attraction for you, you know, and it's, see, there we go again. You know, I'm just drawn to this card. I mean, look make the effort and it's funny that this one comes out as your advice because look it's again children when you were younger you know there is a bond here with the soulmate you know you you just need to stay positive give them give them a chance let them speak don't be upset don't be angry realize that we all deal with things in different ways and some of, you know, we're human. We do not make decisions the right way all the time. We make mistakes, you know. And if love like this is this strong, 
it can be very scary and overwhelming and some people can't handle it. Some people can jump in right away and go, oh, it's fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But some people, they retract back and they go, I don't know how I can do this. I don't know what I'm going to do. How, how, how am I going to be able, what, what if, you know, what if I can't make them happy? What if I can't fulfill what they need for me? You know, so we need to look at it at a perspective of, you know, giving them a chance, you know, and, and if you need to have open and honest conversations and you have to set boundaries with this person and let them know how you feel and what you will not accept. But do it in the right way. Okay? That's what your advice is. Well, this is actually a really good reading. Because I see that you feel mutually the same way about them. Which is fantastic. And uh, I just want to thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. And... Uh, you all have a very blessed and wonderful day, and may peace be with you as you go about your day today. Thank you. Bye.